Hey guys, uh, I just want to make a, a quick video on possible fixes for H1Z1. Um, I've been having problems getting into the game. Uh, G99 was one, but that's subsided. I guess they've got more login servers up now or something. Not too sure what's happening with that. The fix that worked for me was a maximum FPS fix, which I'll link in the video description below. Um, Sermav so posted this on uh, Reddit, on the H1Z1 subreddit. I'll get straight into that. Um, right. What you want to do is navigate to your Steam folder. So if you haven't changed the default file path for it or anything like that, it'll be in local disk C, program files, and then you want to scroll down in... It'll be, it'll be here uh, under S. It'll be Steam. So just follow on. So imagine my folder on the right here, uh, which is on a, a different hard drive. Uh, that folder is going to be in in here. So we open Steam. We open Steam Apps. Navigate to Common, and then in here, you want to find H1Z1. Now the file we want to edit is called UserOptions.ini. Uh, which is this folder right here. It'll be close to the bottom. So now I want to open this. I've already opened it. Um, you will actually. Let's just close that, and we'll we'll do it fresh. Um, you will possibly, when you open this, it'll ask you which uh, program you want to open it with. Just make sure it's Notepad. If you have Notepad++, that's fine as well. That's free software. I highly recommend it for everything uh, that uses uh, Notepad software. So if you haven't got it, go get it. It's a great little uh, free uh, Notepad replacement. Uh, so we'll open it with Notepad. Again, it, it doesn't actually matter, to be honest. You, you can... Um, do this with Notepad. I and I edits aren't really too technical, so uh, yeah, uh, Notepad just makes everything look far better, basically. Uh, now, in here, you want to find rendering, and then maximum FPS under rendering. Make sure it's here and not anywhere else. Now, this should be 250 by default. I'm not sure if it's going to be different for anyone else. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, just change this. Start out with 60. That's basically 60 FPS. That'll be your maximum for this game. Um, if if that works, then you don't need to do anything else. Um, one other thing I did was change uh, my full screen mode to windowed. Now I haven't changed these but you'll want to make sure that you have a resolution that's lower than your full screen because in windowed mode you have this horrible bar up at the top with the minimize, maximize and close. Now when you run the game in windowed mode you'll have that up at the top and one of my problems is when I run it in a window the bottom half of the screen is like below, below the screen at the bottom down here. So I can't see anything at the bottom, and there's, there's certain games that I have issues with where I can't read anything or see my uh, XP progress and things like that in uh, quite a few MMOs, really. So, yeah, once you've edited uh, maximum FPS to 60, um, you can change your your mode to windowed. I mean, if if you want to, by all means, do it. Just make sure that you stick to the default resolution. So if you're running 1920 by 1080 uh, pick a resolution that's a default one that's lower than 1920 by 1080 otherwise you'll have cut-off problems with the game and you won't be able to see anything at the bottom. At least I think for Windows 8 users I'm not I can't remember if I had this problem in Windows 7 I think I did so just again make sure it's a resolution lower than your full screen one. Uh, the other things uh, you should... I'll just cancel that because I don't need to... Oh, no. Uh, the other things that you can do is find your H1Z1 um, shortcut in Steam. 
Uh, you want to right mouse click that, go to properties, go to local files, and then verify integrity of game cache. Now this will take a while depending on what you have. Uh, I know it takes a while even on SSDs, so I guess go get a drink possibly. It might take that long. Uh, it, it shouldn't do, but in the event that it does, just uh, just occupy your time basically. Uh, once that's done, uh, you can also launch the game. Now, when the launcher starts up, after this guy's done wobbling around, uh, you'll see a little cog down here. This is advanced mode. Uh, it'll be above the um, the patch uh, bar that is on the launcher. Now, what you want to do is click this, and then click validate game assets. Now, this will be far quicker than the Steam one. Um, so far, when I've done this, there hasn't been any need to download any other things. I did verify my, my cache on Steam and it was missing a file, so that may also be a fix for people without having to do the maximum FPS. But if you're having like crashes to desktop just randomly or as soon as the game starts up, then try the maximum FPS first. If it still happens, try windowed mode, because I've I've done both, and so far I've been playing this game with absolutely no problems, apart from the usual in-game bug, like floating cars and things like that. So, validate your game assets. I'll just do validate. Um, there, yeah, there's, see, it says checking all game files, all files are up to date, and it should be fine. Now, there's other things that you can possibly do as well two of which is to do with your, your graphics cards. Um, if you're using multiple GPUs such as SLI and Crossfire, just try running a single card. Just see if it works. Also, if you're using multiple monitors as well, try just using one of them. Either disable it in uh, your video options, like on, on your desktop, so you'll go, you'll right mouse click and go to uh, screen resolution and then disable it that way. Or you can just simply unplug it. Just, tr just try those things as well, if this does not work. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, guys, this is early access and it's just going to be cram packed with bugs. So, please, don't, don't buy the game expecting it to work from day one, because it's, it's not like that, that the early access disclaimer basically says in pretty much every early access game out there is it's it's going to be buggy. You just, I guess, you're just paying for support to for it to develop further, which I personally don't like. But after Daisy and Wazzy, I want I saw H1Z1. I've played Planet Side Two, so I kind of knew what to expect in terms of like the size and how many people could play and things like that and I was hopeful. I have been enjoying H1Z1 so far. There's been a lot of complaints about the um, airdrops uh, which I I personally don't have a problem with. They do need to tweak it if they're going to keep it so it's not dropping instantly on somebody's head and they get all the gear instantly from paying. Um, uh, there's been a lot of suggestions like making it wider and things like that, like the the drop uh, potential, the pen potential drop uh, location being far wider from the player and things like that. So if they're going to keep that, they definitely need to uh, make those changes rather than it just dropping on people's head and make the guns far rare than what they are because somebody streamed and basically the the stuff they got should have been extremely rare and not something where you just pay a little bit of money and you get that in like 10 minutes after finding it or having it in within 10 seconds after it's dropped on your head that's kind of shitty but there's enough people complaining about that so i don't really need to go any further um as for fixes, uh, the, the the only other thing you could do is, if you're getting errors or anything like that, G99 is a common one, which is login problems. Those should, if they're still happening, they should go away, at least over the, well, I, I can only expect they're going to get worse 
uh, later tonight on a Friday, Saturday over the weekend. They're probably going to get hammered. Um, but af after that, I'm pretty certain this is going to like subside. It, uh, logging problems won't be a problem anymore. Uh, the only other thing is, again, if you're getting any type of errors, if you can reproduce them, and these fixes haven't worked for you, then just get in touch with SOE support, post on the subreddit for H1Z1, um, I'll link the H1Z1 uh, dev tracker in the video description as well. You'll basically be able to see what like the developers and, and other things, what they're posting, uh, if there's any fix, just just look for your problem, basically. If you can't see it, then just tweet at those uh, developers that are posting, uh, getting posts uh, pushed to the dev tracker. Just try and make your problem heard. Like, see if anyone else is having the same problem. Add to the comments, wherever that may be. Hopefully on SOE support, or the, the forums, or uh, the subreddit, preferably. Um... And also, again, if you use Twitter and things like that, then just point the developers into uh, into the direction of, say, the subreddit where you're having that problem. Because the sooner people do that, and the sooner the, the bugs get fixed, people will be able to enjoy this far sooner than not being able to play at all and just giving up. Because if you give up and you've paid for it, then it's kind of silly. Just make your voice heard, post in the proper sections, and just... I guess hope for the best and hopefully these fixes will help people, the FPS, the the windowed mode, if you can't change your settings in game. I haven't fiddled around with the settings in game so I don't know what's there but uh, after after I'm done here I'll, I'll go check it out and see if you can do windowed mode in there. Uh, the only other thing you could actually do is if you're starting the game up is hit alt enter. Now I I think it's all enter to, especially in DirectX games, uh, DirectX 10 and above. Uh, that will go into windowed mode as well. You could you could try it that way rather than editing the I and I. But I highly recommend using the I and I edit rather than uh, doing it through the options, just in case you can't get to them. And doing it this way makes the game run. So again try those things post in the pro proper sections comment below if you if it worked for you especially if if this worked for you like it uh comment below things like that just yeah that's that's pretty much it that's all i wanted to say um again hopefully this all works for you and i will i guess hopefully see you in h1z1 that's another thing if you want to play with me i guess just comment and I'm, I'm a friendly player. I don't shoot on sight. So if you happen to see uh, Combat Jack anywhere, say hi, or I guess shoot him, if you're, you're that sinister and cruel. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can all get on and experience H1Z1 as we're supposed to, rather than crashing all the time. So I'll, I guess I'll see you guys in game. Bye.